Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Kademify team, and we're finally back in Los Angeles. And today we're actually going to talk about such a great things as spending or saving hundreds of thousands of dollars, scalability, and the cloud testing technologies such as Browser Stack, such as Sauce Labs, such as Build Shit on Your Own. That's actually my favorite. Uh, cloud stack technology that I like to use. Anyways, if you would like to learn how to save or waste thousands of do hundreds of thousands of dollars for your company, or if you think that it could help you to get your next lead or manager's position, stick with us. I'll tell you exactly how do we do this in my current company, which is called Audit Board. How did we get to so much scalability? How did we save $350,000? $60,000. Actually, we do save it annually because we build shit on our own. Anyways, stick to the end. Don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up, like below, and subscribe to our Instagram and the Telegram channels, which you will find in the description below. Let's kick it off with a conversation about a cloud testing technologies. What are those? Like, why do we need them? Who uses them? So usually they're used by QA engineers because they would not want to build infrastructure, infrastructure themselves. They would like to pay someone money and just run the test with no issues, right? For example, you have five tests, it's good. You can run them on your computer. You have 10 tests, you can run them on your computer. You have 100 automated tests. You can still probably run them on your computer. It's gonna take a little bit of time. But if, what if you have thousands of tests and you need to run them against multiple browsers? How do you do that? Well, number option number one, you build infrastructure yourself if you know how to do that. Option number two, you pay someone money to run it for you. And that's what actually browser stack, Sauce Labs and many other companies will do for you. You will kick your automation off on your computer, your automated tests, and they will be executed somewhere else. They will be executed in India, in China, in the United States, etc. So what is the difference between two of them? Browser stack and Sauce Labs. Browser stack was built by Indian guys, I believe, uh, and they have 15 data centers all over the world, which means their computers are located in 15 locations all over the world. So if you're, if you're in US, you're running your tests, they will be running from the US data center. That's awesome. But all of the machines are hardware machines, which means whenever you have 1000 automated tests and you want to run 100 tests in parallel, you will click the run button and you will run on 100 different MacBooks, for example, in their data center somewhere in the US, possibly in Ohio. So they need a lot of MacBooks, they need a lot of machinery, they need a lot of laptops in order to run all of your tests. And I would imagine that would be very expensive. Uh, and then we, on the other side, we have a Sauce Labs, which uses virtual machines. Pretty much they uh, use some cloud technology, possibly they use AWS. Uh, so you run your tests and it runs uh, on the virtual machines somewhere in possibly their data center, possibly in AWS, regardless. So browser stack is much cheaper than Sauce Labs. And by the way, I had a conversation with the Browse Stacks, uh, Browse Stack engineers yesterday, and I, I have specifically asked them how much would it cost to run 160 browsers in parallel for one year. So one year license will cost you, boom, $372,000 for a year. Exactly. Isn't it crazy? I think it really is. That's exactly why I prefer the third option, which is called build shit on your own. It, you, you have to have quite a, uh, quite a lot of skills in order to do that, but you can also learn how to do that if you don't know how to, and that's gonna cost you much less. For example, I've built infrastructure for a company within about two months, and we can run 160 tests in parallel. So pretty much we're doing exactly the same thing with the one exception. We do not pay $372,000 annually. I've built it once and it just stays there. Now it's free. Well, let's talk about how much does it cost. So it costs two months worth of work, worth of my work, worth of my salary. It did not cost $372,000 for sure. I can tell you that it was much less, but I built it once. And now every year we do not have to pay, do not have to pay $372,000. But how much do we have to pay? So 
I've used special, I've used AWS technology and I've used spot instances. So if you do the math within a certain amount of hours that let's say within 40 hours per week of running automation nonstop, the total of uh, total bill annually comes out to $9,500 annually. Compare it, $372,000, $9,000 annually. Is it a big difference? Hell yeah, it is a big. Well, that's about pros of building things on your own. But what about cons? There are definitely some cons. And especially the fact that you do not have all of the features that they do. I've built it only for Chrome at the moment. I did not build it to run on every single possible browser and a mobile platform. I mean, they have that ability. That's definitely a benefit. So if you are looking to run your automation against hundreds of different devices, that's going to be a different amount of work. And my, maybe it will be same around $72,000 to build everything. But still, every year it will be cheaper because you build it once and then you use it. But anyways, I build it only for the Chrome specifically to run automation against Google Chrome browser. Not about Safari, not about Firefox, not against any other browsers, but Google Chrome only. Yes, I can do some uh, I can do some modifications and we can run it against Safari, against Firefox. It will take a little bit of time. It's definitely not going to take more than $20,000 or even $10,000 compared to $372,000 that we pay. So, pros much cheaper, you save $360,000 annually. Cons, you do not get that many features. You do not have ability to run against all the possible browsers and mobile platforms uh, in the world or mobile operation systems, but you can still do that if you need to. So I would conclude it as following. If you, if you know that you specifically need to do certain things, you do not have to have ability to test a variety of platforms, etc. I would recommend you to build things on your own. If you have, or if your company has a lot of money and they do not have time to, they have no time to spend on creating infrastructure and fixing the bugs, well, then you might be better off paying almost 400K annually and just getting things tested for you but that is definitely up to you and your company guys if you do have a budget for it i mean if your company does have a budget for it that's awesome you know what to do if they do not well most likely you're either going to be very slow or you're going to start start building things on your own great i hope you guys now finally know what do you need to do in order to make your automated testing more scalable which technology to choose or which technology to build on your own and if you have any questions about building just leave a comment below i'll let you know what i've used how i've done it and very soon we're going to create a course on creating scalable automation testing from scratch so you would exactly be able to do same thing that i've done at the current company big fat thumb up hit the like button below subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time Oh, <laughs>